Warning, this may contain content not suitable for children. And snowflakes, you have been warned. What up, everybody? It's November 3rd, and here in America, it's election day. So, what is more important to talk about than, I don't know, WandaVision and leaks? Did Funko Pop once again spoil something? Let's take a look. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Sparky News Podcast. It's Scott, still in a hotel room. Sorry if the audio kind of sucks, but I'm here and I haven't done a video in a little bit, but I did see this article and I thought it was kind of interesting because this happens often. But before we get into that, please, if you haven't supported the channel, please subscribe. Hit a like on this. If you could, you could share it out. YouTube isn't helping content creators. The little guy. So I saw this article. I'm going to go into it right now. Um, and it is, uh, from movie, you know, let's take a look because I'm on this movieweb.com by Kevin Berwick. Um, and it says WandaVision leak hints at the return of a fan favorite MCU character. Who could it be? Marvel studios has been putting the finishing touches on the WandaVision Disney plus series for the past few months in Los Angeles. Yeah, we'd probably have it already, if not for, you know, the beer bug. And can we go back up for one second? How hot is that picture? I mean, whew, I hope she gets back into like the comic book outfit. Because man, I know there's like, uh, in one of the trailers, her as like dressed up for Halloween in the old school one. But like, if they could update it and, oh man, she is. Though I love my wife more. All right, a new WandaVision leak hints at a fan favorite character returning. Marvel Studios has been putting the finishing touches on the upcoming Disney Plus series in Los Angeles, and they are, as usual, doing an impeccable job of keeping the storyline and other secrets under wraps, which is true. Haven't heard a lot from this one yet. At least I haven't. However, a recent Funko Pop leak may have shed some more light on what will unfold over the course of the show's highly anticipated episodes, which are reportedly premiering before the end of this year. Oh, man, wouldn't that be great? So here we go. According to Emerald City Comic Con 2021 list, there is a two-pack Funko Pop set for WandaVision on the way, which includes Vision and Quicksilver. It should be noted that this particular set, which is reportedly set for release in 2021, has not been officially confirmed by Funko or Marvel Studios. With that being said, it is usually for merchandise to provide... Oh, I'm sorry. It isn't usually for merchandise to provide Marvel Studio leaks. Uh, I'd go against that one. We have gotten leaks from Funko Pops, maybe like a alternate character, same person, different costume, a sister, a brother. We, we got leaks. I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head, but I didn't do any research. So um, as it has occurred a number of times over the years, it has. Rumors of Quicksilver return have been circulated ever since the Disney Plus series was announced. So I did read that wrong. Isn't unusual. So yes, it happens. We know this. Sorry to the writer. In January of this year, an audition tape for Vision and Wanda's children leaked. At one point, a piece of dialogue re referencing their uncle, who is Wanda's brother, a.k.a. Quicksilver, in the comic books. And in June, June of this year, it was reported that actor Evan Peters, who played Quicksilver in the Fox, uh, their most recent X-Men big screen series, may have a key role in the upcoming Disney Plus show. Okay, so a lot of people don't think he's going to be playing Quicksilver. Um, one of the better things to come out of the Fox X-Men was that character of Quicksilver. Definitely liked him more than the Quicksilver we got in the MCU. Um, he was more fun, um, enjoyed his slow motion running. Well, really 
running super, super fast, but everything else going in slow-mo. Now, he could play an alternate universe knowing that um, the multiverse of madness with Dr. Strange probably will have Wanda in it. Most, I think it's verified now. And maybe she in her, you know, sadness over vision creates a crack in, you know, reality and opens up the different dimensions, different multiverse, um, different universes. Uh, so Evan Peters could still play Quicksilver, but uh, I think a lot of people think he's going to be Mephisto. Mephisto, I always say that name wrong. Um, and that, I believe, is a demon that uh, is involved in the MCU. I wish I knew more. I suck. Um, but, you know, there is a storyline where Wanda, you know, the MCU got it from, uh, you know, the the gemstones, which I'm sorry, she was not, she did not get that from the comic books. It was actually, she was a baby and a demon like corrupted her, I guess, um, and gave her this power. Uh, and she is also the daughter in a lot of uh, comic books, the daughter of Magneto. So, I mean, being a mutant, you know, she would already have those powers, but later on they did say uh, the demon gave her, you know, exceptional powers, which to me, she's the most powerful uh character in the MCU. I mean, she could literally change the fabric of all comic books um, just by whispering a word, you know, House of M. Check that one out. That one I know a little bit more about. I'm not the biggest comic book guy as I used to be as a kid. Um, sorry to all you comic book fans. Tell me what to read next. Put it in the comic section down below. I was always a huge Daredevil and, and Spidey fan, but if you have something good for me, let me know. Um, as for whether or not he'll be playing Quicksilver again is unknown at this time, which has Marvel Cinema Universe fans wondering about a possible return of actor Aaron Tyler Johnson, who played the character in Avengers Age of Ultron, which great actor, what a waste, killing him off. You did not see that coming. Like, okay, Count Dracula. Uh, with all of the alleged connections between Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and WandaVision, it seems that Evan Peters could be Quicksilver from within the multiverse. Benedict Cumberbatch has a role in Spider-Man 3, along with Jamie Foxx Electro, who previously starred in Sony's The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield, took on the role of Peter Parker when he was Peter Parker. Basically, it looks as if Marvel Studios will be able to pull from just about anything from the comics in the future, depending on how deep into the multiverse they decide to go and how much Sony is going to play along. Uh, if Sony was smart, they would play along. They're making a lot of money because Kevin Feige's in control of Spider-Man. And I just hope egos don't get involved. Now, granted, not my most favorite Spider-Man. I think Tom Holland is excellent as Peter Parker. I think um, he could be a little more um, sarcastic as Spider-Man, but uh, the whole idea in far from home or homecoming, whichever the, the one was where, no, the first one with Iron Man in it, um, where he was like acting like he was just wanted to be an Avengers fanboy. I just, Spider-Man's a superhero on his own rights. He never needed anybody else. He did team up time for time with others, but Spider-Man didn't fanboy out even when he was younger. So come on. Um, Aaron Taylor T Johnson's Quicksilver sacrificed his life in Avengers Age of Ultron. Did not see that coming. When asked about a possible return for WandaVision in 2019, Taylor Johnson did not seem confident. I think we're both open to possibilities like the Marvel Universe, like it has been over the years. But obviously, yes, I am aware of the Disney Plus platform and all of the shows that are going. And I'm still in touch with a lot of the people, he said. I mean... I think it's safe to say that no, I'm not going gonna. There will be no appearance of me coming out or Quicksilver appearing anytime soon. Hopefully, we'll get some kind of clarification about Quicksilver in the near future. For now, you can check out the Funko Pop leak uh, above. Thanks to the Siri Siri NT Pops Instagram account. Um, so they're saying that is above. I might have just ran right by because my service sucks. So, yeah, I don't see it above, but check out that link. Um, I'll try to put the art, the link to this article in the description. Guys, what do you think? 
do you think that uh, we will see the original, not the original, but the MCU version of Quicksilver, or is it just going to be Evan Peters, or is Evan Peters playing Mufisto or somebody else? Let me know, please. Comments below. And again, thank you. And um, put a spork in it. I'm done. <laughs>